Secondary publishing rights articles have been introduced in seven European countries, while others are exploring the introduction. These are considered an example of the broad efforts to recalibrate the entire scholarly communication system, together with rights detection policies, and their importance has been greeted by the Council of Europe in its recent conclusions. This Knowledge Rights 21 study, conducted by LIBRE, the Association of European Research Libraries, investigated the implementation of secondary publishing rights with the aim to understand their impact and to comprehend what obstacles need to be overcome in the countries that they do not have this sort of legislation. The motion now is towards a new generation of secondary publishing rights that would be both legally and practically elaborated, taking into account the lessons learned from the early implementations. We propose the adoption of harmonized legislation that creates a safe and clear legal environment, has no or very limited embargo period, and benefits a vast array of researchers. It applies to all types of scholarly publications from all disciplines and includes an enforcement and monitoring mechanism. One cannot now ignore that the secondary publishing rights are powerful tools at the hands of the policymakers to truly open up access to scientific information and to provide inclusive, collaborative, and impactful research in Europe.